Hey, Blackman family. Uh, this is Brother David again, and I hope this video reaches you all doing well. Uh, I wanted to send you a video to let you know about a couple of exciting things that we've got coming up over uh, the next few weeks. Uh, first, uh, many of you may not be aware, uh, but we have a vegetable garden here at church. Uh, all the harvest is being donated to Second Harvest Food Bank uh, in Smyrna. Uh, but if you have need for some food, uh, we will be sure to get that to you. Uh, but Trey White and his family have been uh, working hard uh, in the garden this spring and summer. And uh, to date, we have donated uh, about 50 pounds of fresh vegetables uh, to Second Harvest. So we are, are grateful for that. Uh, however, we need uh, some help. Uh, some help maintaining the garden by uh, pulling weeds and, and some other stuff. So if you are interested or uh, willing to help, please contact either me uh, or you can contact Trey White uh, at 615-708-9092. That's 615-708-9092. But something else I wanted to share with you is that uh, this year we will be once again having uh, our blessing of the backpacks. Uh, this is always a special time in the life of the church where uh, we take the time to pray specifically for students and administrators and teachers and faculty uh, as they begin a new school year. Uh, we give them a tag with a prayer on it to go on their uh, backpack or roll cart or, or briefcase or, or whatever, uh, and also a small wooden cross to carry with them uh, throughout the year uh, as a reminder of God's loving and faithful presence with them. Now, with this being such a, a unique year for our students and teachers, uh, it's extremely important that we take the time uh, to pray for them. Now, the Blessing of the Backpacks is available to anyone that we will be participating in any type of school uh, this year, and whether or not you will be going to uh, a school building. Uh, so be on the lookout for some more details about that uh, in the next several days. Thirdly, uh, as I said a bit ago, uh, this is going to be a unique year uh, for our schools. Uh, and while it's important to pray for them, I believe it's also important for us to find tangible ways to help, uh, especially to help uh, our teachers. Uh, in conversations that I have had with a few teachers, one concern that I have heard from, from a few different places is... Um, heading into the school year, a concern that they have uh, for obtaining supplies to help keep their rooms uh, clean uh, and sanitized. Uh, therefore, I am asking for your help uh, to complete an outreach for teachers in two elementary schools uh, here local to the church. Uh, we want to donate a 32-ounce uh, spray bottle uh, of disinfectant uh, spray to every teacher uh, at Blackman uh, Elementary and Browns Chapel Elementary uh, and also make one available to every teacher we have uh, in the church. Now this will be uh, about 150 bottles just like these. Uh, if you feel led to help, uh, these empty bottles can be found at Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, Kroger, uh, they can be found on Amazon, and they're, they're usually about 2 to $4 a bottle. We just need them to be empty, we need them to be 32 ounces, and we need them to be spray bottles. Included uh, at the bottom of this video are links to order the bottles online if you aren't comfortable uh, getting out to find them. Uh, but you can also contribute financially either uh, by going to blackmanumc.com slash giving uh, or sending your check to the church office and, and we will make sure that that money gets uh, distributed and purchases the necessary equipment. Uh, now once we have received the bottles, we will be uh, asking for volunteers to come help prepare the bottles by mixing the, the concentrated cleaning solution uh, with water and then uh, 
getting the bottles uh, to the schools uh, as needed. But finally, uh, we know that this pandemic uh, continues uh, to, to put a strain uh, on people. And, and some of you may be feeling a strain uh, financially due to the fallout uh, from this COVID crisis. Uh, but I wanted you to know that we still have resources available uh, to help uh, if you need them. If there's anything that we can do, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, we will help to keep this confidential and, and we will be glad to help uh, in any way that we can. But then beyond financial support, if you just need someone to talk to and, and work through the struggles of life, please don't hesitate at uh, all to, to contact me. But I hope that you all are doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe. And if you have a question about any of these efforts, whether it's uh, the garden, whether it's the blessing of the backpacks, whether it's the, uh, the, the outreach uh, to the schools with the spray bottles, if you have a question or would like more information about any of this stuff, please uh, feel free to contact me. But have a great day and God bless.